think it's actually 13 is the 00 the 005 and the uh, 030s are our are our most advanced clones here and what you're going to see is you lose a little bit of pigmentation during storage now these are are stored for almost a year now like maybe 11 months of storage right now we probably harvest these in september yeah, uh, September 4th. yeah there you go and so let's let's take a look and see what the color is right now but one of the things that i want to that I want to show you here that re we really value and the consumer really values too uh, is shape, right? You know, good good shapes that are that are that are marketable shapes, uh, which I think is really important. Now, keep in mind these have been stored for 11 months now, so they might not be as pretty as uh, as you would expect, and they've never been washed, right? Uh, so they're 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 sitting for a while, but let's take an example. Here's one that we cut earlier I'm gonna go back into this guy here now By the way, I, I never go anywhere without this uh, And You know the color's still there uh, And in fact, it's kind of softened a little bit uh, And I think that's a that's a decent that's a decent color uh, to have I mean, they're really attractive. And when you cook these, the, the anthocyanins will be released. The color will actually enhance uh, in, into a kind of a darker, richer sort of a magenta, uh, which is quite nice. So uh, this is one of the advanced clones in this box here, just stored as, as some material, the NCP-13-0030. And one of the other advanced clones, the two that we're most excited about right now, is this this other one the o5 hunter if you could bring it down yeah <clears throat> and the o5 is looking quite nice too now i can i can give you for a comparison sake here let's see what the color is looking like in the o5 see a little bit more degradation of the anthocyanins in the o in the uh, o5 but that might necessarily be bad. Uh, but again, a long, long period of storage. Yeah. This is the the P thirteen O thirty, and partly the NCEP project is helping to pay for this. All right. Uh, in 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 terms of increasing it from those small lugs that you saw before, the small gray agricultural containers, which typically contain about thirty pounds. Now we're scaling it up. This is a thousand pound bin. Uh, we're going to have several of these and on farm growers are going to have 6,000 pound bins. All right. So that's part of the, you know, what NCEP is paying for right now is ramping that up, uh, to, not only for the seed production, but also for the commercial quantities, which can be test marketed. Uh, you're going to see these guys, they're dirty because they were recently harvested. They haven't been, they haven't been cleaned at all. Uh, but what I look as, at as a breeder is on, on the top of this, this crate right here, uh, I see nice shapes. I see a reasonably good yield. I think that's a beautiful shape for sweet potato. Uh, maybe this is a little bit more round than I would like, but you can do something with that. As I go through here, I, they're, just, they're just stellar. It, we never had that in a purple sweet potato before. Uh, and this actually, if it were you know, an orange flesher, I would release it just because of those shapes too, and the yield is quite good. So let's let's look at inside and see what kind of presents we get inside here now. Right here comes the surprise factor. I hope, uh, and I think you know we're back to some nice color here. Okay, and that's going to stay stable here well into the spring, uh, and so that that's 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 quite nice. Now this ring of white around here is the sap or the latex that's produced, and that's a natural phenomenon in sweet potato. Some growers would tell you <clears throat> that it kind of is an indication of their sweetness. I'm not so sure that that's fact or not, but that's a colloquial you know, fact uh, or thought. Uh, but here again, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's really got very, very good color. So I'm, I'm pleased with what I'm seeing in this, in this bin box right now. And actually, this is our first harvest 
of the year of these types of materials. Uh, and they're, they're all over here at the Horticultural Crops Research Station. Of course, we're at the, the Horticultural Crops Research Station. And this is our main critical station for sweet potato breeding activities. All of our seed is stored here. And we have had a, a very productive partnership over the last 20 plus years between NCDA, and CS, of course, uh, and NC State. So it's been a hugely successful partnership. And just partnering with Hunter and the NSEP program is natural. Uh, and so it's a natural part partnership, and I'm really sure that it'll lead to really good things because our partnership over the years has really done well here. And this NSEP pro program is great because it allows us to connect with other people and, and through that growth and that partnership opportunity, we, we grow the industry. And so it's, it's natural, uh, this program extension of what we already do. And so, you know, I'm really happy to be a part of it. And I say that from my heart too. <laughs>